Hello, my name is Karolina Leniczek and I will present the paper I have submitted together with my colleagues Anna Dębicka and Katarzyna Suchocka to the IBIMA conference 37th edition. In the presentation, I would like to present three aspects. The first concerns the creativity and its importance in the context of the theory of entrepreneurship. In the second part, I will indicate the directions and principles of space organization in economic environment from the point of view of the organization of creative space. In conclusions, I will try to capture the relationship between space organization and its possible impact on students' creativity. Motivation, needs and ways of organizing creative spaces both in work and environment and in educational environment are increasingly becoming the focus of researchers and practitioners. The interest in the quality and creativity of the learning environment and their impact on the development of certain competences already appears in the design of primary schools and kindergartens. The shaping of creative spaces that can influence entrepreneurship and the development of entrepreneurial competences in higher education is of particular importance. We believe that the discussion of the impact of space organization on the development of creative and entrepreneurial skills is still under development. In recent decades, there has been a significant increase in empirical research on creativity issues. Still, the problem is the lack of a single standard definition of this concept. Regardless of the approaches to defining creativity, the common element of most definitions are two items, originality and usefulness. The first of these items is seen as the most important aspect of creativity. Something that is to be considered creative must be innovative and unique. It is assumed that if a process, product or idea is not original, then it is common. Usefulness is the second element in most definitions. Usefulness can mean emotional value and it can refer to the pragmatic value or the effectiveness of a product. Creativity has been associated with entrepreneurship for decades and although the theory of entrepreneurship has been developed during this time, creativity still plays a crucial role in it. In our opinion, the environment in which the learning process takes place may also influence the development of entrepreneurial competences, including creativity. Research on an environment influencing Creativity among students has a broad context, many emphasizing the importance of the teacher's attitude and relationship with students. Research is less concerned with space itself, which may constitute an important element of the environment directly affecting students and teachers. Shaping a creative space ready to meet all needs requires from the designer and the future entrepreneur an almost comprehensive knowledge of, among others, preferences, a specificity of the operation of given teams and target age groups. Simultaneously, it imposes the interior's indicated character, which is to be positively perceived. There is a problem of unpredictability here, which can disturb the functioning of a seemingly perfectly designed space. A model example of a creative space is an interior that meets all users' foreseen able expectations. In such a space, we will find specialized zones prepared to implement specific tasks. We can distinguish three groups of spaces. First, transparent space, which provides the user with optimal living conditions in the selected period. Second, toxic negative space, which adversely affects the recipients. And third, identical positive space, which is personalized. We maintain that another factor that determines the effectiveness of a creative space is the nature of a given interior in terms of colors, textures, acoustic conditions, and above all the proportions and forms of the model space. 
the classification of the type of space takes into account the psychological aspects of its impact on the quality of human life in relationship between sight, perception and the emotional reactions of users. Summing up, the existence of many different relationships can be assumed between the creativity of users and the organization of architectural spaces. On the one hand, they result from the importance of space as a creative place, and on the other hand, from the understanding of man and his development in connection with the world and society. Given the importance of entrepreneurial competences and creativity in the development of the modern economy, the research direction on these aspects should be further developed. Thank you for your attention.